I think that, uh, in, in David's defense, a lot of us get that, by the way. Dude, you live in Hermosa Beach. You know, what are you talking about? You predict the future and you live in Hermosa Beach. That's where the wave's going to wipe everything out. And I keep telling him, well, California's going to be all that's left and it's going to be the rest of the United States that falls into the sea. So, you know, <laughs> that's right, man. Well, again, I, I want to remind everyone here that each soul, every one of you is precious beyond imagination. And it's just such an incredible honor for all of us on this panel to be able to share this energy with you because as you tune into our frequency, there is a very real energetic conduit that is formed. And if we are clear enough, then our personality disappears and we become a lens for the Creator that you're shining to us to shine back onto you, hopefully with some transformation and some nice filigrees on it. So I wanted to share with you perspective on 2012, getting back to your earlier question, Sean. Uh, and this deals with the idea of what exactly is going to happen between now and 2012. And this gives me a great segue into a piece of information which is scientific in nature, which I've wanted to share at this conference, and this is the great time to do it. I was poking around in Russian physics. I was looking through the web for various uh, scientific studies done by Russians on torsion fields, which is the energy field of consciousness. And they've done some fantastic work. I quite by accident stumbled across the Russian Institute of Temporology, which means a study of the nature of time, and found a paper by a man named Dr. Sergei Smelyakov. <laughs> I know, I know. Go ahead and laugh, it's okay. <laughs> My coughs don't smell like anything, by the yeah, way. They're just say, roses. Say, yeah. But uh, Dr. Smelyakov, or we'll just call him Sergei, maybe that'll be easier. Or, or Smelly, as his friends or, <laughs> or Sergei, we can call him Sergei. <laughs> I think Smelly's better than Sergey, I think, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Danny, I don't want to tangent on you. I apologize. Um, okay, the point is this. Smelyakov looked at the Mayan calendar, found out that, does everybody know about the golden mean, the phi, 1.618? That's the harmonic cut, the sacred cut. You can cut a guitar string, and it'll be 1 to 1 1.618 is the ratio. Anyway, that's the basis of all life and all growth. If you take the Mayan calendar cycle, 5,200 years in length, and you start chopping that up by the phi ratio so that it implodes into a singularity in 2012, which means that if you have an imploding spiral, okay, you're cutting it by phi, you cut up 5,200, make that sacred cut, and then cut that unit and cut that unit, those cuts will fall on certain years. And what Smelikov discovered is that on those years, very, very substantial changes happen on the planet, including the fall of civilizations, the rise of new methods of measuring time, the rise of new civilizations, the rise of great spiritual teachers such as Jesus and Gautama Buddha, the major earth changes. In fact, the Russians did a 2,000-year retrogressive study of earthquakes and found that the biggest earthquakes happen on these resonance points. Well, think about what I said. It implodes into 2012. So what does that mean? Prior to actually hitting 2012, in the last year especially, there's going to be one after the other after the other. And every one of these wave fronts changes the planet, changes consciousness. One of the last ones we had was 1991, which was the fall of the Soviet Empire. One of the more recent ones that we had was right before, like two days before, the Bush administration invaded Iraq, which I believe was the political fall from the public will of power that they had. So we're dealing now with the next wave that's coming in 2009. As we head into 2010, 2011, they're going to start happening every couple months, and then they're going to start happening every couple weeks, and then they're going to start happening in every couple days. By the time we get to 2012, we're going to be hitting new ones every hour. And towards the end, it's, it's multiple times per second. Okay, now my readings have told me, for what it's worth, that some of us will be able to have ascended abilities I mean, full-on ascended abilities prior to the actual shift happening. So that would be very cool because what we're expecting after 2012 is a 100 times more harmonious utopian world where things like time travel, levitation, instant telepathy, instant healing, telekinesis are as common and as everyday as breathing. And I look forward to that time. Now, I've been told, I've been told that any one of us in this room, anyone, if you're willing to do your practice, which basically involves the acceptance and the forgiveness of the self, and if you get that down, then you start looking at everyone else. If somebody else upsets you, the only reason why they would is because they're hitting an issue that you have. So if somebody does something and it no longer is your issue, you won't be upset by them. 
If you can find that peace and that equanimity within yourself, then you will be the most compatible for this change that is coming. And as each of these new wave fronts hits, these are sufficient enough. They used to take hundreds and hundreds of years. They change the whole nature of the world and civilization. They're going to start happening every week and then every day. So you can harness that potential in yourself, and I see a very, very positive future coming. So I thank you. Forgive Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Already done it. <laughs> <laughs>